Jacques Charles looked at another relationship between gas measurements. Charles looked at the relationship between the volume of a gas and its temperature. Just like Boyle had to keep some measurements constant in his experiment, Charles has to keep some in his. If you're measuring volume and temperature, you have to minimize your variables. So that means you have to keep the amount of gas and the pressure constant. Now by doing this, Jacques Charles found that volume and temperature are directly proportional. And this should make sense to you. As you warm up a gas, it expands. This is how hot air balloons work. It should not be a surprise that as the temperature of a gas increases, the volume increases. And as the temperature of a gas decreases, its volume decreases. Like with Boyle, let's take a look at this mathematically. The mathematical statement is that volume is directly proportional to temperature. And as before, we can get rid of that proportionality by introducing a constant. We can say volume equals a constant times temperature. So if K2 is going to be constant, I hope you can see if temperature goes up, volume has to go up in order to maintain that equal sign. And as temperature goes down, volume also has to go down in order to maintain that equal sign. As before, what we can do is we can move the variables on one side and keep the constant on the other. So you get a statement that looks like this v over t equals a constant. And again, this shows a direct proportionality. If k is to be constant, if you increase volume, you must increase temperature to keep k constant. And finally, if v over t is a constant, you can write the statement v1 over t1 equals v2 over t2. So all four of these statements are the exact same equation. The last one, though, is probably going to prove the most useful to us. Let's give it a try. I've got some helium gas, and I measure that temperature to be negative 15 degrees Celsius. And at that temperature, it has a volume of 1.13 liters. I have a sealed container, so I'm keeping the amount of gas constant, and I'm holding it at constant pressure. So those are the two conditions that must be met in order to utilize Charles' law. Under those conditions, the temperature is raised to 55 degrees Celsius. And I want to find a new volume. So go ahead, give it a try. You can actually pause the video if you want. And then we can go through this. Did you get negative 4.14 liters? It's a pretty common answer to this one. Does that make sense? Can you have a negative volume? No, that just doesn't happen. So if you can't have a negative volume, are you allowed to have a negative temperature? Because that's where the negative sign came from in that calculation. And the answer is no. When doing these calculations, we're not allowed to use negative temperatures. But in that problem, there was a negative temperature. And that's because it was expressed in degrees Celsius. Whenever you deal with gas laws, your temperatures must always be in Kelvin. So with that said, let's give that question another try. Whenever you see degrees Celsius in this unit, you need to have it in Kelvin. So let's start there before we do Charles' law. So I have negative 15 degrees Celsius, and I'm going to convert that to Kelvin by adding 273, and that gives me 258 Kelvin. That's going to be T1. And then at the end, it goes to 55 degrees Celsius. And so if I add 273 to that, I get 328 Kelvin. That's going to be my T2. And Charles' law says V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. And so what we're going to do is we are going to isolate for V2, because the question is asking what is the new volume. If I do my algebra, I'm going to say V1 T2 over T1 equals V2. All I did was multiply both sides by T2. So now I can plug in my numbers. 
V1 is 1.13 liters. T2 in the correct units is 328 Kelvin. And T1 in the correct units is 258 Kelvin. I get 1.44 liters, which is a much more appropriate answer. First of all, it's not a negative volume. And also it conforms to our prediction. If I'm increasing the temperature, we should also increase the volume. So the volume is increasing from 1.13 liters to 1.44 liters. Now that doesn't seem like a great deal, but if you look at your temperature change, we're only changing from 258 to 328 Kelvin. So that's a relatively small temperature change in the Kelvin scale, so it's not a big change in the volume scale.